and good morning i have so much to catch you guys up on and you guys saw in my last couple of videos i moved to a new apartment it takes a very long time to set up an apartment especially when the people living there myself and my sister are basically working almost every day the apartment is slowly coming together i still need to figure out things for my room but i've been working on stuff almost every day in the city like the one or two days I've had off this month, I've either relaxed or I had to go to Westchester. So it has been a packed August. I will be doing a podcast this month on Leo season. I usually do two podcasts a month, Virgo Vibes. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever. But you know, this month I couldn't do two. It's August 16th and I still haven't even recorded one podcast episode. So it's crazy life's been busy but it's been a good kind of busy in my last video i kind of was explaining like a week in my life as an actress and i wanted to vlog today with a similar vibe like a day in life as an actress because i have a lot of fun creative things planned for today if you don't know me i am elizabeth jankovic i'm a 21 year old vegan living in new york city pursuing a modeling and acting career and I also do content creation like this on YouTube and I have a podcast as well called Virgo Vibes and I have a personal Instagram and you can follow that at elizabeth.j so let's fill you guys in literally I moved and I was working every day so anytime I was home it was really to sleep or wake up or use the bathroom or get ready or relax <laughs> emails have been piling up in my inbox I have like 20 acting emails regarding to self tapes and stuff, but it's kind of funny because the reason I haven't been able to do them is because I'm already acting and booked like every day for like film shoots and stuff and TV shows. So I'm kind of just like, what do I do? Also, I'm not going to lie. This apartment is pretty dark. Um, the lights are nice, but it is pretty dark and I do have to figure out my filming setup and I think that's half the battle of why it's also even harder to film stuff right now i have been able to do voiceovers so you know worst case scenario i could just do those so as far as like things i haven't really been able to get to it's apartment stuff because it takes forever and i'm barely here and my sister is still in westchester so it's like communicating with her about apartment stuff trying to know exactly what's right to buy i want something for my bedroom a dresser I have feels like it's broken and then after I get a dresser I want to see like shelving stuff so apartment stuff takes a while um I also have not been doing my yogas and workouts that just hasn't been happening because moving feels like a workout anyway and it's been so hot in the city and I walk a lot so I feel like all that cardio has been enough I also have not been sleeping because of the different shoots I have have different call times, stay up late, get home late, and I just, it's a lot right now. I need to do my affirmations, I need to ground myself, I bought my crystals from Westchester, I have some essential oils, and tonight hopefully I do my affirmations, and maybe some yoga, because we gotta establish a new routine in our new space. That is the hardest part. So right now I'm getting ready to go to training for my new job a weekend kids party entertainer. So I literally go to kids birthday parties and do face paint and games and a magic show and you help kids have a good time on their birthday or like celebration or whatever. I am going to training for that first and then I have a COVID test deep in Queens for uh, a movie I'm working on this week. And then I have to come back here and get ready for a photo shoot I have. I'm doing a TFP photo shoot. If you guys don't know as much about me, I'm pretty solid with my acting stuff. I feel like I know that route. But as far as modeling, I've never really gotten paid for modeling. But I am building up a portfolio. You can check out my portfolio at www com and I'm doing a fun like it's supposed to be kind of like a fairy tale themed photo shoot we just have to find the wardrobe today if not we have a couple of backup options and like accessories so I just wanted to do some makeup a because I want to look cute in general um just for myself b I'm tired and I want to look more awake 
It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. That's a little bit of life updates. So different from quarantine, my healthy weekend of life videos. I just stayed at home and did yoga and ate healthy. It's fine. Elizabeth, I think. Oh, God. I am also going to have to figure out how to vlog in this apartment, considering how dark it is. It's not that bad, honestly. So, to reiterate that I'm trying to be healthy, I'm bringing my vitamins with me. I have a bunch of videos about the vitamins and probiotics I take. I'm actually running out soon, so maybe the next time I order, I'll show you guys. But this has my regular multivitamin, my hair vitamin, and my vitamin D3 and K, because I'm going to eat breakfast out. And then a Go Macro Bar, because I need more protein, so. I will vlog again once I go. This is pretty good, this light. So it would just be setting up like, I could totally figure it out. So I will vlog my breakfast. I'm going to Orchard Grocer. Might make a TikTok about it. Check out my TikTok. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm not used to it. But Sunrise Batch Iced Coffee, the medium, because they're $2. And then the, I think I got oat milk today. And then two pumps of liquid cane sugar and then the flavor shots of toasted almond and coconut. OOTD, a gray tube top underneath this classic pink long sleeve, and then athletic shorts today. sites are always so crazy to like navigate but it's like the back of the studio usually so it looks like a warehouse it's not a bad day it's just like a long commute so. I just got back from my COVID test and I was on the phone but I picked up a just salad vegan salad chipotle cowboy salad with the daring chicken so it comes with like lettuce and avocado and beans and then i had roasted sweet potatoes edamame tofu and creamy feta added to it and it was so good these are like the remnants of it i didn't pour the dressing in but i was like dipping the tofu in the chicken so i didn't finish it all but now i have to get ready for my photo shoot so it's kind of like a fairy tale floral foresty vibe this is the makeup i tried to match this inspo um with freckles and i have makeup packed that i'm bringing now i'm going to pack my bag of clothes and accessories and shoes and head out so i packed these suede pumps that i'm bringing i have my old navy blue prom dress and then when when i recorded a get ready with me for like a red carpet video um i have that other dress too this dress if you guys remember this one extra makeup hair accessories and jewelry and that's pretty much this bag and then right now i'm wearing this oversized pink long sleeve and then biker shorts which i can just keep under the dress and then i have a nude crop tank slash bra underneath this so i can change into the different outfits because we are shooting outdoors just in case there's no bathroom i'm gonna put some sneakers on and get ready to head out <laughs> Hello, good evening. It is now nighttime. I didn't get too many BTS of my shoot, but I will say I had a great time. It was about a two hour shoot and I'm super excited to see these photos, to share them with you guys. I post my modeling photos on my Instagram first, whether it's a story or a post, so check my Instagram out at alice.j and eventually 
I will upload them to my actual portfolio at www.elizabethjinkovic.com slash modeling dash portfolio. <laughs> so all these links are down below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new, welcome. Um, I recently hit 600 subscribers, but y'all know how YouTube subscriber count is. So let's keep that up. Please subscribe if you're new, follow my Instagram, check out my socials. And thank you for watching and enjoying this journey with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week.